on this slide we talk about problems on unions and intersections so before we talk about the problems we need to write down the formula which connects unions and intersections and individual sets so let us draw some figure this we have already drawn before in previous slides so we have universal set we have set a we have set b so let me first mark what is a minus b so notice a minus b is all the elements which are in a but not in b so you can see it is everything in a except that small portion which is a intersection b so it's everything in a except this small portion so this small portion is a intersection b now what is b minus a so b minus a i'm shading in red so you can see it is all of b except that small shaded portion in rust color which is a intersection b so b minus a is all the elements which are in b but not in a so let me write down what i have said so number of elements in a minus b as you can see from the figure is number of elements in a minus number of elements in a intersection b yeah this you can see clearly similarly number of elements in b minus a is number of elements in b minus number of elements in a intersection b again you can see from the figure so number of element number of this a union b is number in a minus b plus number in a intersection b plus number of elements in b minus a so this we have seen before that a union b is a disjoint union of three sets a minus b a intersection b and b minus a all three of them are disjoint now i am just plugging in results for number a minus b is n a minus n a intersection b then i'm just writing number of a intersection b and instead of b minus a i'm plugging in n b minus n a intersection b so there's nothing much which is done these two terms cancel out and this is what we get so number of elements in a union b is number of elements in a plus number of elements in b minus number of elements in both a and b so we have derived this formula so this formula is very important so i will put it in a yellow box and put a star next to it so that you know it is important now let us do some important examples so first example say x is the number of students who study english so say this number is 50 so let us write this down x is number of students who study english then why be number of students that study mathematics so number of students now we have to write down number of students which study both english and math So when you say both English and math, you are talking about intersection. So this is x intersection y. So notice you need should be able to convert English into math. So English means both and, and that is precisely what intersection means. So most problems will just tell you both English and math is twenty. So number of students who study both English and math is 20 when you have both and word and that means x intersection y so we have to compute 
नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु स्टडी इधर इंग्लिश और मैथ सो वेन द वर्ड इधर और कम्स इन दैट मीन्स यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट यूनियंस सो वी हैव टू कंप्यूट नंबर इन एक्स यूनियन वाई सो नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट इन एक्स यूनियन वाई वी हैव टू कंप्यूट सो वी जस्ट अप्लाई दी अब फॉर्मूला सो इट इज नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन एक्स प्लस नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन वाई माइनस नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन एक्स इंटरसेक्शन वाई सो नाउ जस्ट प्लग इन द वैल्यूज and add and subtract you get a answer of 100 so that was the first example the easiest one so you could be asked to compute either x union y or x intersection y yeah so sometimes the numbers are given for x union y and you have to compute x intersection y and so on you know there are four terms in it so three terms would be given to you and you have to compute the fourth one so let us compute the second example slightly more involved say universal set is of size 100 number of elements in a is say 50 number of elements in b is say 75 so we are asked to and we are also given number of elements in a union b as 85 so we are asked to compute this number of elements in a union b complement so first this is a small part of the problem so what is this so a union b complement is universal set minus a union b so and that is what we write so number of elements in universal set minus number of elements in a union b so that is the definition of the complement so let us write this down so this way we call part a so 100 which is universal set minus a union b so this gives you 15 so part b asks us to compute this a intersection b complement again we have to use the formula that a intersection b complement is universal set minus the set a intersection b so we just copy down that formula for number of elements also so this will be A intersection B complement would be hundred. That is size of the universal set minus number of elements in A intersection B. But we do not know what is the number of elements in A intersection B, and that we will compute by the formula which is in the yellow box. so this is given to us as 85 this is 50 this is 75 and we have to calculate this number of elements in a intersection b so we immediately get 40 here and we plug it back in here so 100 minus 
gives us 60. So now we come to another example. See, we fix the universal set at 100 and say this is the total number of students in a school. Say NA is number of students who speak Punjabi. So number of students who speak Punjabi is denoted by N of A. So this number is say 25. So NB is number of students that speak Tamil. So this is 35. And number of students who speak both Punjabi and Tamil is 10. So number of students that speak both Punjabi and Tamil is 10. So our question is, compute the number of students who speak neither Punjabi nor Tamil. So let me write this down clearly. So compute number of students who speak neither Tamil nor Punjabi. Okay, since it is neither nor, so this means opposite of either or and we have talked about either or means union. So neither nor means complement of the union. So we want to find out this number. So it will be 100 minus universal set minus number of elements in A union B. Yeah. So now we just find number of elements in A union B. And that will solve the problem. Yes, yeah, so number of elements in A union B complement is universal set minus number of elements in A union B. So this will be now 100 minus 50 which will give you 50 as the answer.